what an incredible honor to sit down with um, Pastor Tommy Reed, who has been the pastor of the Tabernacle in Orchard Park for over 50 years and has an incredible amount of life experience and just a revelation of Jesus Christ. And uh, one of the things I'm so intrigued as as a young charismatic is the gift of tongues. When I read 1 Corinthians 14, I, I seem to see this communicating to God uh, in a language that is uttering mysteries, as Paul the Apostle says. And then later on in the chapter, this idea that people are speaking in tongues and it's being interpreted. What would you um, maybe explain the gift of tongues just for a few minutes and how you've seen that in your own life? I think the gift of tongues is an ability, according to the scripture, of speaking mysteries, things that we don't even know what we're saying. It's an ability to speak back to God and, if interpreted, to others about what God is saying. Let me take it a little different direction. If that is true, let me tell you about a prayer I pray. When I was probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago, 35 years ago, I was praying a prayer. It first came in tongues. I knew I was saying something to the Lord, but I didn't know what it was. And all of a sudden I knew what it was. Mm. And what it was was this. All of a sudden I heard this prayer, first in tongues and then in English, coming out of the deeps of my, depths of my spirit. And I interpreted my own prayer. And this is what it said, Lord, help me see the world as you see it. And I thought, oh, why should I be praying that? That's a stupid prayer. I know how God sees the world. I've been to Assemblies of God Church every Sunday night for the last 40, 50 years, and I know how God sees the world. He wants to get it. He's mad at it. He wants to send the judgment. He mm -hmm. wants to send the tribulation because he's going to get these bad people. I said, I know how he sees it. I've got to get everybody out of here and get them to heaven because God's mad at the world. And then I hear the prayer again. Lord, help me see the world. I said, Lord, that's a stupid prayer. I don't need to pray that. I know how you see the world. But I kept praying it, and one day I was pointing my car upon the New York State Thruway at the Seneca Street exit here in Buffalo, and I looked ahead of me, and all of a sudden everything disappeared, and I knew God was going to answer my prayer. And I was felt like an astronaut. I don't know who drove my car, but I, I don't. The, it, the vision was probably very quick, but it seemed like a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden everything disappeared. The road disappeared. Everything ahead of me disappeared, and I saw, I was like an astronaut, I was looking down at the world, and I saw Korea where I preached, and I saw the Philippines, and the world was spinning, and I saw Detroit, and I saw uh, St. Louis, and all the cities where I'd held revivals, all the places I'd been in the world, I saw Guam, all the places I'd preached the gospel. And then it zeroed in, and I heard my prayer, Lord, help me see the world as you see it. And all of a sudden I saw two hands, and they had nail prints up here in the wrist. And I knew they were the hands of Christ. And I saw the hands of Christ. Now what I thought he would do, I'd been, I'd been to church every Sunday night. I know God's gonna do it, he's gonna send judgment. So I thought those worlds, Jesus is really mad at this place and he's gonna just crush it. And instead those hands were very gentle. And they took the world and they opened it up. And inside of it, I was shocked. There was a broken heart. And I heard my prayer answered, that's the way I see the world. Wow. And I knew because I was talking to God, not out of my head, I was talking to God out of my spirit. Mm. And the only kind of a prayer that really matters much is the prayer that Jesus wants to pray. Because when Jesus answers his own prayers through us, the world changes. Wow. Thank you so much for that. That's such a, a powerful revelation on the gift of tongues, something so intriguing. So often people feel like maybe it's just something I'm just wasting time mm -hmm. praying in a language I don't understand. Although the scripture is so clear about what it means yeah. to be uttering mysteries that if we are willing, God yeah. will interpret them back, if you yeah. will, to us. Thank you so much for that.